Now, Jerry, before we get started, I want to thank you for coming here to the Junk Room to give me this opportunity to talk with you. I've been a big fan of yours ever since I saw The King of Comedy. You're one of the funniest guys there ever been. I don't think a lot of people know that you're a huge Star Wars fan. And not only that, you're mostly a fan of the newer films. And I thought it would be fun to talk with you about that. Why? Well, just to kind of get your take on things. You know, uh, I know you're a big fan of The Force Awakens, and a lot of people say that's just a remake of A New Hope. Do you yourself see any similarities between these two films? None. Why is it people like you, big stars that often come out and support these films like Star Wars and, and talk about how great they are? Because we do it well. Yes, yes, you do do it well. You know, there's some people out there that say The Phantom Menace is probably better than The Force Awakens. It isn't. Yeah, I'll agree with you on that. Hey, you know, did you notice my shirt? It says Party Animal, and it's got a picture of Chewbacca on it. I saw this the other day at the store, and I knew I was going to interview you, and I said I have to buy that shirt. It's so funny. Jerry Lewis will get a kick out of it. So do you like my shirt? Not at all. Oh, well, I thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> well, anyway, a lot of people that didn't like The Force Awakens say that Rey is just a Mary Sue because she learned to use the Force so fast. How do you think she got so good with the Force? By working at it. That's, that's a good way to get really good with the Force. But as you can see, some people probably really don't understand that in these movies. Anyone that's 90 does. I see, so you think maybe some of the younger fans don't really get these movies? No. I know you're a big Steven Spielberg fan also. What is your favorite Steven Spielberg movie? 1947. I guess you mean 1942. Okay, uh, back to Star Wars. A lot of the older fans are upset about how different Star Wars is now these days. Do you really think Star Wars is that different? It's not. It's the same. The new movies are just the same as the old? Exactly the same. Now, you talked with George Lucas back in 1977 when he was making the first Star Wars movie. In fact, you gave him a suggestion to rename Luke Skywalker's planet Tatooine. What was it you wanted Lucas to name the planet? Dusty Kowtow. Hmm. Do you think Lucas liked that? No. Another thing some of the people who don't like this new era in Star Wars says... The old characters, like Han and Luke, are too different than they were in the original trilogy. Do you agree that they're different in these new movies? No, nope, they're still the same. How do you think it is Disney, or even Lucasfilm, get so many people to go out and see these movies? You tell them you're playing there and they show up. I guess that does help. You know, a lot of fans are saying that Snoke is really Darth Plagueis the Wise. And he's been in hiding all this time, waiting for that right moment to take over the galaxy and destroy the rebels once and for all. What do you mean? Never mind, that's, that's a little complicated. Uh, let's go on. When for you do you think it was the best time to see Star Wars? When my partner was alive. Oh, really? So you and Dean Martin used to go see Star Wars together? Yep. Out of all these Star Wars movies, what do you think the best Star Wars lightsaber fight is? I'll show you some material, you'll know. Okay, I'll love to see that. Now, I know you got an event screening of The Last Jedi. What did you think of it? It was terrific. I'm sure everyone's going to agree with that one, Jerry. What advice would you give Kylo Ren about taking over the First Order? Get a day job. <laughs> That's a good one, Jerry, and that's funny. Were you shocked that Kylo Ren killed Han Solo? What movie? In The Force Awakens. I'm glad you remembered it. Can't forget that one. It's one of my personal favorites. What did you think about the movie? It's great. 
Yes, yeah, it is. I think it is great. Do you remember the first time you ever saw Star Wars? You never forget. Would you ever be in a Star Wars movie? Absolutely. We're planning one now. What? What? You're planning to be in a Star Wars film? Are you the star? Mm-hmm. I cannot wait to see that. Now, besides the movie, you're a huge Star Wars collector, mostly of these old Kenner vintage toys. Now, I know you've got a huge collection, and most of it's been won off eBay at very good deals. How do you always win these auctions? If I tell you, you'll be doing it. <laughs> I sure would be doing it, because I could never win an auction. You once outbid me on a loose one arm Reese figure. <laughs> Is there anything you don't like about Star Wars movies? Yeah, but nothing we want to talk about. You know, Jerry, your, your mouth seems a little dry. Uh, can I get you some water or anything? No. Are you sure? It's cold. None. It's got ice in it. It's very refreshing. Nope. Okay, Jerry. Before we end this interview, is there anything you'd like to say to the fans out there? Not for this. Well, I want to thank you again, Jerry, for coming to talk with us. It's been a great interview, and I've been a really big fan of you for many years. And I'm really happy to see that you're really a big Star Wars fan. All right, clean it out of here. And that was it. My hardball interview with Jerry Lewis. I learned a lot. Did you? I'll be honest with you, he wasn't the most energetic interviewer I've ever done. But then again, I haven't done many interviews. Thank you for watching. Support us on Patreon. Links in the description below. Head over to StarWarsJunk.net and buy some cool t-shirts like this. And thank you for watching. We'll be back very soon. And thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.